This man is now too afraid to show his face or let us use his name. He's a migrant worker from Myanmar. He says he was abused at his former workplace in Thailand, so he ran away. The conditions were terrible. Workers were struggling to make a living and they were being exploited by the people in charge. The factory in question is a fruit processing plant to the west of the capital Bangkok. At Vita there are thousands of migrant workers, mainly from Myanmar. It's being alleged that among them are victims of human trafficking. This is about as far as security will let us go. Uh, certainly they're even sensitive about us filming out here in what is essentially a public place. This company is certainly not the only one in Thailand that has had allegations of abuse levelled against it. There are many like it around the country. Some workers are victims of what's called debt bondage. They are bought and sold and forced to work to pay police fees and debts to the company. They also have to pay off the independent brokers who arrange their employment. It's a problem at Vita. What is clear is why they're, while they are uh, at the factory and in debt to a broker, they can't leave. Uh, they're not allowed to go somewhere because, of course, uh, the broker wants to recoup their money. Vita has had a high-profile client, the U.S. retailer Walmart. Walmart and the owners of the factory wouldn't give us an interview, but in a written statement, Walmart says, as part of our standard audit process, Walmart stopped its supplier from using Vita Foods in 2011, after Vita failed to correct labour issues found in their factories. However, documents obtained by Al Jazeera show the Vita factory sending goods to Walmart as late as the end of March this year. The Thai government believes the problem of abuse lies in the often murky world of the middlemen who buy and sell the workers, something it says it's getting tough on. That very selfishness and very selfish and very, uh, I think, greedy, greedy remark, greedy put in that word. We try to eliminate that agent, you know, real, real hard, real hard. We punch it real hard. It's thought there are as many as three million low-skilled migrant workers in Thailand, most of them from across the border in Myanmar. Many of them have been trafficked into a life of slavery with little hope of ever escaping. Wayne Hay, Al Jazeera, Kanchanaburi, Thailand.